Hey everybody, welcome to Life Elevated Trailers. This is the in-depth review of this Trails West RPM 28 foot free ride. I'm gonna go over a lot of information here, but hopefully this answers all your questions and makes it so that when you come to purchase one of these awesome new toy haulers, you feel like you have a full grasp of, of what you're actually coming to look at. And if you're coming from out of state or far away, you can watch this and hopefully be comfortable with your buying decision, be comfortable with the journey before you come. Starting on the outside of this trailer, you've got a 28 foot box and a eight foot goose next to your 36 feet overall length. The out exterior skin is 040 aluminum, so it's thicker than your standard trailer aluminum. And it comes with an inch and a half of styrene board and um, fiberglass insulation inside the trailer to make sure it's really, really well insulated. On the front here, you've got automatic hydraulic up and down. Really nice system, really fast. Um, and then under your gooseneck, you've got your clean out hose right here for your black tank. And then in here, you've got dual seven and a half gallon propane tanks for your 40,000 BTU furnace that's on board. You've got dual six volt batteries, your full spare tire. And then this trailer comes with 80 gallons of onboard fuel. So you've got your fuel nozzle here with your really long hose. And then coming around the side here, you've got your, where you can turn your pump on and then check the levels in your two tanks. The tanks are separate and you can fill one with race gas, one with regular fuel if you need both um, or whatever needs you have. You've got separate tanks so that you can make sure that, you know, you have options when you're, when you're hauling fuel with yourself. And again, those are 40 gallons each. So you have 80 gallons of onboard fuel in this trailer. Um, Access to your fridge freezer on the back panel here. Uh, this trailer has this 20 foot power awning. Awesome, comes in, goes out electronically. You don't have to do any locking or switches or knobs or anything, just push a button. This is your water fill for your 50 gallon onboard fresh water tank. Um, and then you also have your city pressurized hookup right here. Fold down step on the side of the trailer for a really safe, really secure exit up and down when you're getting in and out of the trailer. The awning comes with an LED light strip, and then we added two more LEDs to the outside to really light up this area to make it nice to hang out at night. Um, here are your fuel fills for your gas tanks. There's your front tank. Here's your rear tank. And then you have two exterior speakers on this trailer for partying. You can have music playing throughout the whole campground. One thing I walked past really quick that I wanna highlight this is a propane auxiliary T that plugs into your seven and a half gallon propane tanks on the front so that you can run your barbecue off the propane on the trailer without having to bring additional bottles. So moving back, we'll talk about some of the stuff here at the back of the trailer. First off, are your drop down stabilizer jacks right here so you can get the trailer mounted solid and firm when you're all set up. The rear ramp doubles as a rear porch, so it has Stabilizer jacks on it that allow you to mount it flat so that you can use it to hang out on once you have all your toys unloaded. Back of this trailer, the lighting is really cool. You've got your turn signals and brakes right here on this top. These are actually an automatic reverse light that when you put your truck in reverse, flood out the back. And then you've also got an additional two LED floodlights over the rear so that no matter what you're doing, what time of day it is, you can see what you're doing. You can back in places safely and not worry about hitting something. I've got everything folded down right now. Um, let me just show you how quick and easy it is to get out of where you are. So this, this bunk just swings around like that. That's your bar so you don't fall off it at night. Lift that up, locks in. Lift this up, locks in. Simple as that. And they have a broom stored in there here on board for wiping the trailer out. The trailer's got the Nudo floor, all aluminum ceiling and aluminum walls. Again, heavily insulated. Tie down holders, top and bottom, so you can hook your straps in and hold them tight here to the wall. This trailer has the additional kicker stereo package with four interior speakers plus a subwoofer, and it has two additional exterior speakers added to it as well. Um, this works great for oil, helmets, all sorts of stuff, and then coat hooks. You've got six on this side, six on this side. Cup holders, obviously. Soft open and soft close cabinets. 
and they're an all aluminum tread bright design with venting on them. This one has two shelves inside, so you've got a top and a bottom for extra storage. Closes the same. 13,500 BTU air conditioner here. Um, runs off your generator. And then you've got, this is for your furnace. This is an outlet for the 40,000 BTU furnace that's on board to keep people warm. Back by your beds, we've always got a USB charger so that you can charge phones and other things while you're sleeping. Um, another oil rack, I mean, the storage never ends. Aerosols, chain cleaners, chain lubes, all that stuff can go in here, plus a paper towel rack. And then you have a privacy curtain. If you need a change or just need a little privacy up front, you can kind of shield yourself from the people in the back of the trailer. Um, Goggles can hang right here. And then on this table, same thing. So easy to put up by yourself. You've got this, lift up on that, drop your arm down, lock it in place, pull out on that, and your table's locked. Grab your benches, lift up on them, pin them here to the wall, just like that. Same thing on this one. It's just so well thought out on the design that all this stuff just goes up so quickly and easily to get you out of where you are. And then you've got a ton of space to park side by sides, four wheelers, dirt bikes. You can fit two four seat razors in this trailer as long as your second razor is the 64 inch width. The 72 inch width side by side won't fit up into this nook, but anything narrower than that will. And you can take two machines in one trailer out to the dunes or mountains or wherever you're headed. Um, all your switches are right here next to the man door, really conveniently located. This is your thermostat for your furnace. These are your, all your light switches and your stereo is also on a switch here on the door so that you can turn it on and off without having to carry a remote or walk over to the head unit to turn it on. Um, we'll just move forward and talk about everything as we go forward. This is the bathroom. You've got your Hot water shower with a six gallon onboard water heater. Plus you've got your water flush toilet in here. You can leave the door open and slide the curtain across, or you can shut this door and give yourself more privacy when you're trying to take a shower and or use the restroom. Um, every trailer comes standard with this microwave. And then you've got a two burner cooktop here by Dometic. Super simple pins open and stays. And then you have your full size fridge and separate freezer, not a combined unit, freezer on top, fridge on bottom. Um, control panel, you've got your fresh water levels, propane levels, all your tanks right here, tell you everything going on with the trailer. And then you have your water heater switch, your water pump switch, and your power awning right there. This trailer has a ton of 110 outlets in it. There's one back there in the middle up high. There's one here. There's one up on the gooseneck. And those allow you to have 110 power throughout the whole trailer, whatever you need to plug in. Even better though, there's a power inverter added to this trailer. It's a thousand watt inverter. Turn this puppy on. It pulls power from your two six volt batteries, converts it to 110 and makes every 110 outlet in the trailer work independently so you don't have to run your generator if you want to run a 110 outlet to you know have a coffee maker television whatever you want to run you don't have to run your generator in order to enjoy those things it keeps the noise level down and keeps the overall experience more enjoyable moving forward on this kicker sound system right here really cool feature eight usb chargers that means radios cell phones tablets um on and on and on all the things that you need to plug in to 12 volt power you've got two usb ports per station and four of those and then you've got your speaker selector switch up top here that allows you to select interior speakers exterior speakers or both so that if people outside want to be listening to music you don't have to listen to it inside um, obviously up here in the front you've got a lot more of the brains of this trailer not to dig in too deep but you've got your fuse panel there. You've got a battery voltage meter right there that tells you what your batteries are at. And then you have your solar panel on the roof coming to a charge controller 
that's constantly feeding power into your batteries so that when this trailer's out hanging out, it's taking care of itself, it's staying charged and ready to use. Um, you've got, like I said, oh, I'm a little too tall, a 50 gallon onboard fresh water tank, a 17 gallon black water tank, and a 17 gallon gray water tank. We've also added high flow roof fans, fans to this trailer so you can suck the heat out of this thing really quick and cool it off in the summer if you don't wanna run your air conditioner. Um, just to give you an idea, and I printed this off because we added a lot to this trailer. So all the things that are added to this that don't come standard are the air conditioner, the auxiliary propane hookup on the outside, the dual 40 gallon fuel cells, so the 80 gallons of onboard fuel is added. The floodlights around the exterior were added. This inverter is an added option. Um, the power awning on the outside is an added option. The propane tank upgrade, the solar system, the stereo with the speakers and the high powered vents, and then the additional window we placed over there are all added options to this trailer. Um, everything else comes standard. So standard wise, microwave, cooktop, fridge, shower, uh, toilet, sink, all your cabinetry, all your storage, your tables, your bunks, your beds, those all come standard. And then obviously, and your 40,000 BTU furnace all come standard. And then on top of that, that list is things that we added. The beauty of this trailer is that you can hook onto this trailer, weighs about 6,000 pounds dry. You can load two razors in it, tow it, with honestly, if you have airbags on an F-150, but I'd probably use an F-250 or, or you know, a 2,500 three quarter ton truck. Take your whole family, take all your toys out to the location in one trailer with one trip, pull everything out and have a fully functional space to camp comfortably, to be either cooled down if it's too hot or stay warm if it's too cold outside. And and then when you're done, fold up in five minutes, load everything in and be back on the road. It's not the three hour process to get ready and get gone and then have to redo all that when you get home. Quick in and out, leave all your toys in it and it's a mobile garage and, and you're good to go. Call us here at Life Elevated Trailers. What I'm confident in is that we use these trailers. We do ride razors, we ride snowmobiles, we ride dirt bikes, we go camping. And so we understand the things that work and the things that don't. And we can help you order the trailer that you need to fill your needs how you want them without upselling you on a bunch of stuff you don't need. But also, we won't miss things that you do need that are important and a really good value to add to these trailers to make them a lot more useful. Give us a call here, and we're happy to help you. And thanks for tuning in.